Right, so um, this is what we've done in the last lesson. So we need to stretch this down. Um, over here, I'm going to add a display table and display table like that. And then within a table, we have a row. So we have display table row class that we're going to make. So this will target display table row and then we have cells. Okay, so another class display table cell. And this is for display table cell like that. Now we need to attach um, our table to our container fluid and our row uh, will be uh, display table display table row and then we'll do the same with um, our column so and select this two here so display uh, table cell all right so we're sort of recreating a table type structure so if we reset our screen we'll see some things are off, we have space on the left and space on the right. Uh, to fix that, um, we're going to say over here, uh, padding zero pixels. Now, if we reset the screen, we can see that's done, but still, uh, navigation hasn't stretched down. So there's a few more styles to add into, into um, our CSS. So what I would do is to add here, uh, float none. So this takes care of um, our issue. So we can see now that our background has stretched down to match up um, with things. So let's see what happens if we copy this paragraph and paste it here. So we have a bit more more content. So if we reset, we can see everything is, is um, readjusting properly. But up here we have a bit more space than we require. So this is to do with um, uh, vertical aligning things. So we're going to make um, a new class. We'll call it VLINE, uh, vertical align, and we we'll say vertical align top. So this will push all, um, every content we have um, to the top, basically. So let's attach it to our cells. So vertical align top, for line top. Now reset the screen and you should notice that everything has gone back to the top okay so um now we want this to stretch all the way down um by default so there's a few things we need to add here we need to use a um, percentage 100 um, percent. so if i said 100 percent here and i come down to our table we want our table and we want our row and our cell uh, to all be 100% uh, so just add that like that okay so if we come here and reset oops um, not 100% width it should be 100% height so if I come back and select all the width that we've done and change that to height my bad and save that and reset the screen and there we go voila it's perfect exactly what we want so what happens if we have more content on the right um, so let's try and see uh, what happens then so if I copy all our paragraphs and paste it a few times okay and then save what we've done and reset the screen and we can see the left side carries on readjusting itself uh, resetting its height to match up with the content on the right section so this video is a very short one so we've covered a few things in the next lesson we are going to start adding more elements from the pre uh, coded up um, admin system so that's all we have to do for this lesson we'll be adding all these elements uh, to our navigation um, in the next lesson um, you can revise what we've done here is a bit uh, tricky but you get used to it with um, repetition. Okay, that's where we end this lesson and I will see you in the next lesson.